We're standing in the vineyard of the Fair Oaks Horticulture Center, which started as a small orchard in 1998, and it was funded by a, an endowment grant from the University of California. Uh, the purpose of the orchard was to teach people how to grow fruit trees and keep them small, and also how to grow them organically. That year, we had seven master gardeners who helped to install the irrigation and prepare the soil during that wet El Nino year of 1998. And we had about 30 or 40 people at harvest day. And now we have over 50 master gardeners who manage the center, and thousands of people come to harvest day. In 2000, then, we is expanded the demonstration gardens to include this table grape vineyard and a berry area and the vegetable garden. In 2003, we installed the, the half acre water efficient landscape garden with grants from the County of Sacramento and the California Department of Water Resources. Demonstration gardens can be a great way to educate the public about water efficient and edible landscapes. And the Fair Oaks Horticulture Center has become somewhat of a living laboratory. We conduct trials to look at various growing methods and pest management strategies. For example, because most gardeners can no longer get the best products for controlling peach leaf curl, we tested a couple of the products that remain, a couple of liquid copper products, and found that they can actually do a pretty good job, although they're not perfect. Um, we also covered a cherry tree with a, a row cover material to show that you can exclude the new cherry pest, the spotted wing drosophila, and control the pest almost 100%. Um, but large trees can be difficult to cover, so we're now espaliering a cherry tree and a peach tree to show how both to espalier them as well as how to easily cover them to help control some of these new pests that arrive. Uh, likewise, we're also espaliering a new citrus tree to show how maybe we could exclude the new citrus pest, the Asian citrus psyllid, if and when it arrives in this area. And we've tested composting methods and found that the, the best and fastest compost can be produced with the large bins where you turn them manually with a pitchfork. And we've also tried spraying compost tea and various microorganisms, and we've come to the conclusion that pretty much the best way to grow crops, plants in general, is to provide a healthy living soil um, so that uh, it becomes a, a foundation for growing healthy plants. So as we continue to learn new things, um, we continue, we keep sharing our findings with the public, including our mistakes, and we do make some, through hands-on learning at the Fair Oaks Horticulture Center.